Okay, so we know that the shrapnel grenade is very effective against vehicles, there's no denying that. So what about using it against pigs? At a base level, the shrapnel grenade deals 30 damage and upon detonation, releases multiple pieces of shrapnel that deal 20 damage each if they make contact. Now to many players when using this weapon against enemy pigs specifically, the shrapnel grenade can be pretty inconsistent when it comes to dealing damage. However, today I'm going to show you how you can use this weapon properly to deal a minimum amount of 70 damage against your opponent, in some cases as high as 120 damage per shot. So welcome everybody to the magical world of Pig in Hell. I'm controlling both teams and we're going to be breaking down a couple of these shots with the shrapnel grenade to really show how to get maximum damage or at least maximum output when using this weapon. Now to start with, the enemy's position is really the key here for me. Um, I really want them to be facing in any direction that isn't straightforward because if they were, things would become a lot more difficult because of the pig's hitboxes. In terms of the amount of power that is needed, I'm actually going to go a little bit over this time to about here, roughly. So if I hit play, uh, you'll see that I'm able to uh, use that amount of power to almost throw it over the pig's head, as it were. So that the detonation occurs roughly over the head of the pig itself or near enough the shoulder area. So upon detonation, you can see that obviously we have tons of shrapnel pieces just going everywhere. But the key bits to look for are these circles here, which indicate that a piece of shrapnel has hit its target. And as you can see, we have 1, 2 and 3, which equals 20, 40, 60 damage. And then the uh, actual explosion, which is, you know, the base damage of 30, gives us a total of a wonderful 90 damage. Remember that the point at which you detonate is the most important because I guess getting it as close to the body as possible while ensuring that the pig is facing in the right direction where you want him to be, it's again just really going for this shoulder area here. I mean this time we don't get the full 90 damage but we still get a hefty 70 instead so two of the shrapnel pieces collided with the pig that time. The shrapnel grenade for me is very much a close range weapon so it doesn't really matter the distance that you are from your target but for me to get the most out of it like this pig here has 80 health but I'm easily able to kill him because of the close range distance and because if we wind it back of the fact that the shrapnels are just so compacted together that it just I even get some <laughs> I even get extra uh, fall damage on him as well but I mean, you can see all of the pieces of shrapnel just going in their uh, directions. So we have one, two, there's a third one behind here, behind the massive particle explosion. Four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, and I believe there there's another one here. You can't quite see it. But again, just the fact that we have these three main ones hitting the pig's hitbox and the explosion as well is enough to deal that uh, standard 90 damage once again. Even if you do have the height advantage, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. And the same can be said uh, when your opponent has the height advantage as well. You can try and compensate with a little bit more power in your throw. But again, if you see here, just as I throw this one, uh, the position of the pig is a little bit more complicated. So just before the detonation, you can tell that my trajectory is going to land roughly around here which is far too low so all of the shrapnel pieces will either go out here or they'll go straight into the mountainside itself so if we hit play you can see i only do 27 damage and you can see the shrapnel pieces just disappearing and yeah unfortunately doesn't get the max amount of damage but that's okay it's all about understanding the shrapnel how the shrapnel works in conjunction with the landscape around you and how you can use power to your advantage because you're essentially throwing it over the head of the pig sometimes you can overdo it you can overcook it and that will again you know deal between 20 to 30 damage but it just requires practice like every single weapon in this game you need that sort of practice and even here like this guy has 150 health and i throw it behind him thinking that maybe that the shrapnel will deal damage but it just doesn't happen so the detonation occurs I, I guess because he's maybe a little bit too low and the point of detonation is way too high so everything just goes above his head and he is damaged but just not enough. 
When we're talking about optimal distance, this is perhaps the perfect example for me. This is sort of my bread and butter when I'm using the shrapnel grenade. So if I'm just going to pause it here just before I throw it, this is the optimal distance that you want to be from your opponent when you are using the shrapnel grenade. And of course, once again, you want to just throw it into their shoulder region to deal the max amount of damage. And I mean, if you're lucky like me, you'll even get even more splash damage from the environment as well. So once again, detonation, point of detonation, very important. Still, you know, the particles there make it look like it's way above the pig's head. And it makes it look like the shrapnel is going to, you know, disappear away from the pig and it's not even going to damage him. And he will be damaged by the splash but he won't be damaged by the shrapnel itself. But that is on the contrary because, well, <laughs> look at the damage. He's down to 28 health. I mean, a lot of that, 12 damage is, is down to the splash uh, from the environment. But again, just winding it forward and breaking this down again, we can see that the initial damage, he was down to 40 health. 40 health, so he, he was on 150, so that did 110 damage with a single throw. Now, my point earlier about why the direction in which your opponent's pig is facing is important is because if I were to throw this right now, then there is a high chance that either the uh, grenade will bounce off the pig's head and, you know, disappear elsewhere... Or it will just, you know, detonate up here and again all the shrapnel will go everywhere and it will only deal the base 30 damage. For some reason, it's all down to the shape of the pig's hitbox itself. Remember that the hitboxes themselves are rectangular. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I reposition myself and I go for it again and we actually get 100 damage from this shot. Again, <laughs> just going for sort of behind the shoulder area almost sort of at the neck, just trying to detonate it here, and he's, he's down 100 health. So the key things to remember are the distance that you are from your opponent, preferably you want to be super close to them, the point in which you detonate, the amount of power in your throw, you need to be getting it just over the pig's head, you want to be detonating it just over the shoulder, and you want to be practicing as much as possible. I can't stress the need to practice. Do this, you know, get two teams, get four teams if you want to, and just set them all to be engineers or sappers or whatever, and just get practicing with the shrapnel grenade because the payoff, especially in multiplayer and especially in competitive, will be huge. For me, it's become a thing that is now muscle memory. Um, it's difficult to, you know, completely get 100% right every time because you're not going to be accurate every single shot. And you may find that your results may vary um, wildly compared to mine. But I don't know. It's one of those things that I thought I would share with you. Maybe that it can help improve your game. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have had some success or failures or you just don't really use the shrapnel grenade. What are your thoughts? on the shrapnel grenade. Let me know everything you have to say down there in, in the comments below. Cool. <laughs> oh, and here's a really cool clip of me being able to get 120 damage from a single shot using the shrapnel grenade. Just, just enjoy. At the end of the day, like everything in Hogs, it just comes down to practice when using this weapon. For me, it's become one of the deadliest weapons in the game because of its crazy amount of damage to both pigs and vehicles, so long as it's in the right hands. But do you agree with my findings? Do you have a better method of producing high amounts of damage with this weapon? Let me know everything you have to say in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. And in the meantime, I will catch you guys later for the next one. Right, you putrid porker. You should be proud of your Hogs. I've given you, um, ooh, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, five additional promotion points to decorate them with. Are you listening to a word I say? Repeat after me. Minefields are very bad things to wander into. Now, press your button and we will be the richest nation in the world. Just imagine, just imagine, limitless swill supplies until the end of all time. Oh, God, don't mess it up.